like you all know we normally have our starting line of half inch okay i'll be using 8.5 for her chest line uh breast point is 11 our uh, under bust is 15 inches i'll be adding two inches seam allowance at the down so that means the total length for this blouse is 21 inches now let's connect it together this paper is folded into two because we'll be using this for both the front and the back our shoulder is 17 inches i put the 17 inches here i'll repeat the same thing on the shoulder line I'll be using three inches for the neck width. Then I'll use one inch for the neck depth for the back. You just connect your yeah. Then I'll go down here for the shoulder slant by one inch. okay now in between here to here we have 7.5 so we'll be dividing it into two so i'll be coming in by half inch for the front her round bust is 41 inches i just had one inch for ease that's 42 so 42 divided by four we have 10.5 and i'm going to connect her arm hole So you connect from this slant here to the half inch first then from the half inch you now connect it to to this so this is the ham hole now now let's impute the horizontal measurements we already have the horizontal measurement for the bust her waist is um, 34 84 divided by 4 we have 8.5 plus 1 inch that's 9.5 now add seam allowance of 1.5 inches So we'll be cutting the back the back neck first we'll come back and work on the front neck okay now let me add half inch for joining of the shoulder so we can assume the half inch we left initially when we started let's assume is the it is the half inch so now you just go up here by half inch also then you connect it like this guys for the back i'll use the exact line here now you just connect like this like this connect from here to here then from here you connect to here because for most people their back is always bigger than the front so you can see what i did here now i'll be cutting the back off first so let's cut the back on the fabric first it's folded into two because we are cutting on fold so we are cutting the back now okay so guys we finished cutting the the back this is the back now i will now drop it aside so i'll cut it off now you will now open your paper so guys after we might have opened it you can see you know you we already cut out one inch here for the back neck depth so you will take your tape like this you put the one inch on this line excluding the one inch now we're going to get the deepness our front deepness 
if you want it to be revealing, if you want your cleavage to show, you can go down by seven to eight inches. I'll be using 5.5. So you indicate your 5.5 here like this. Now, on this side, you know we have um, our two inches allowance. We added the hem allowance. So you go up here by two. You also indicate it like this. Now, you will not take your curve ruler. If you want to use your straight ruler or your curve ruler, whatever one you want to use is fine. So you place it like this. So from this, your neck, from this neck depth here, on this other side here, from here like this, you roll it to the 5.5 here. So from here now, you now take it to these two inches here. So let me see if this ruler is long enough. So for those of you that might want to take it down, you place your ruler like this. You take it to this seven inches. You rule it like this. Yeah. So from here, you take it to this place. So you can see we have two we have two lines here now we'll be cutting off this front one so this is how you cut before i cut it on the fabric you remember the 1.5 inches allowance we left on you know when we're drafting it so you will now take the 1.5 here like this you now we'll be cutting it off because we don't really need it on this side. So we've eliminate that 1.5. So you face it like this. I'll have to slit here, open. You know it was cut on fold. I'll be cutting the facing first before, before we join the shoulder together. Now, after placing it like this, this is the front, and this is folded into two. Just take your, your chalk, how many inches you want. I'll be doing 2.5, so indicate it here like this. So on this upper part here also, I want 2.5 here. So you remove it. So you remove this one aside. And you start marking the 2.5. So we are cutting it. For you not to get confused on the, the part you are joining to the, to the overlap. And for you not to confuse here for the upper part. Me, I like notching. I'll just notch here like this. Then I'll know that this notch is the up one. I can notch either of this side or this side. If I notch here, then I know that here is the one that is going to be inside. So let me just notch this front here. Yeah. So that's that for the facing for the front. Now let's cut the back. The back facing. Now it's on fold because the back also is on fold. So you're going to have to place it like this. We did 2.5 for the front facing. We'll be doing the same 2.5 for the back. So just in the case where you stop cutting from.
then you remove the back and you also measure the 2.5 on this side like this you measure it round then you just take your just take your back like this then you place it right side facing the right side then you sew it half inch so we'll do that for this back and we also do that for the front this is the front and we have our facing here yep so you remember we notched this up place like this and we also notch this side so we know now that this one is like this now let's join the facing i've turned it with the facing you can see how neat it is i did it for the front and the back yeah so the next thing now is to not join our shoulder so we'll be joining it with half inch then the sides here we'll close it with 1.5 inch sewing allowance we we'll do the other one for this side so now for this side seam when you are now closing it with the 1.5 inch allowance that we left when you sew if you get to a point here you just stop sewing you top stitch you back stitch on it then you don't jump to maybe you can leave like two or 2.5 inches wide yeah then you now jump to the other side and you now top stitch top is almost ready so look at the inside this is the inside i join it with the allowance then i weave it i did the same thing for this side then i've also hemmed the down parts so this is where the belt will be passing out from back side to like this you sew like this so that you can flip in like this yeah so i'm going to sew like this then i i will also flip it like this so that is that for this now let's cut the sleeve i fold it like this then i also fold like this so i'll be cutting a peplum sleeve so guys we'll be calculating the radius and when i checked the ham hole for this blouse we have nine inches and you know if you have to calculate the round ham hole here now we have 18 inches this is a 360 degree folding yeah so we are going to uh, divide 18 divided by 6.28 equals to 2.28 and if i should put the 2.8 all around here i'm going to have excess armhole now i'll be using 2.5 because if it were to be um something that has a zip a, like maybe i'm attaching it like a round peplum for the waist and i'm using a zip at the back then i will have to cut it on that 2.8 exactly but this one there's no zip there's nothing i just need the radius for the exact armhole that i need so i'll be using 2.5 you place your 2.5 here like this you mark it then you start going around 2.5 so you just just mark it now let's check if we have our 18 inches so you calculate what you now have from here you place your tape like this you calculate like this so what i have total here is 4.5 now 4.5 divided by that's times 4 yeah 4.5 times 4 because it's folded into 4 4.5 times 4 so we have our 18 inches exactly so i'm okay with this now now the length of the of the sleeve i'll be using 8 inches it's the 8 inches you are placing it on this not from the beginning from the 2.5 inches we mark here that's where you place your 8 inches yeah so we can now cut 
So I'll use this one now to cut the second sleeve because this is one sleeve. Now I have the same fabric. So I'll place it on each other. I will now cut our armhole now. This is our armhole. So you take your you take your blouse from the joining from the side seam here. You can pick any points. You know, you can pick anywhere, or you or you just notch. Okay, better off, just notch the two sides. Notch like this, and notch like this. So one of the notch, you place it on the right side, facing right side. Like so, then you sew it round. The down part like this, you are going to fold half inch. And sew down and sew it round. I'll weave I'll weave this down part before I sew it. I'll do that for the two sleeve. Then we are now done with our blouse. This is the outcome of our peplum. You can see it is well balanced and well covered at the front. It's not exposing too much cleavage. Yeah, can you see it? This is how the back is. So, it's beautiful and you can wear it on a pants trouser, you can wear it on a jean or on a skirt. Anything you feel like wearing it on. For corporate, for church, casual. Please kindly like, subscribe and share this video. I'll see you in my next video.